New at 6, the Alabama Senate could soon pass the Choose Act, which could change education in a huge way in the state. Good evening to you. I'm Nikhil Williams. And I'm Dan Schaefer. would give uh, uh, families up to $7,000 each year for, pu uh, public for public school alternatives through tax credits. Way 31 reporter Maddie McCaffrey joins us live now in Huntsville. Maddie, many families feel this is a great idea, but not everyone is on board. Yeah, you're right, Nicole. I spoke with the Huntsville Parent Teacher Association president, Deb Stern, and she's very vocal about being against the Choose Act. She thinks it's going to hurt public education in the state. Now, Stern, she thinks the bill would hurt public education, particularly because she says private schools and public schools are not on a level playing field. Private schools, they're not subject to the same government oversight, and Stern says they don't have to take every student, and that worries her particularly about special education students. I don't think there is any private schools that's going to accept a large majority of our special population. And I think that's very hurtful. And I don't think the senators and the representatives have actually done the footwork to see what's available that they're saying they're giving choice to. Now, right now, we're monitoring the Senate chamber in Montgomery to see if legislators do pass the Choose Act. And if the bill does get passed, it could go to Governor Ivey's desk to be signed into law very soon. We'll keep you updated on this on air and online at WadeTV.com. For now, I'm live in Huntsville with coverage you can count on. Maddie McCaffrey, Wade 31 News.